I felt kind of scared. Um, uh, it actually kept me out of the street at night. 48-year-old Lamar Horton felt like many Flint residents during the summer of 2010, on edge. He was the only one that was killing out here, you know. He even had the real killers out here scared, I think. Starting that May, African-American men were the target of a serial killer. Eventually, several white men also became victims. I was uh, hysterical, you know, didn't want to go out. Police fingered Elias Abulazam as a serial stabber in 14 attacks in the Flint area and several others in two other states. Everybody was on edge, you know, we, you know, didn't know who to trust, you know. Five people were killed. Abulazam has only been tried in one case. Flint is a real, real small city. I mean, you already got a lot of killings. We really didn't need that guy out here. Abulazam was arrested in August 2010 in Atlanta, Georgia, as he tried to board a flight to his native Israel. Tuesday, he was convicted of murdering Flint resident 49-year-old Arnold Miner near downtown Flint. They should give him everything he got coming. Really? Anytime you take a life, only God should be able to take a life. Just how much time Abulazam will spend in prison will be determined June 25th. I think the community is a whole lot safer, and they feel a whole lot safer, knowing that this man has been caught and convicted and will be doing time.